Okay, in this video what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about the difference between directional control valves from hydraulics to pneumatics. And to do this, I've, I, I've drawn up a hydraulic 4-2 circuit and the equivalent pneumatic circuit of this. And there's a couple of differences here that I want to talk about. And I want to also mention how similar they are and why hydraulics and pneumatics, especially at the beginning level, are oftentimes taught together. And the directional control valve is a perfect example of this. In this hydraulic 4-2 circuit, I have four ports, okay? I have my A, P, B, my P port, and my tank port, sometimes called my return, okay? Or vice versa, depending on the manufacturer. I have my power unit here, my tank symbol here for my oil going back. And as you guys probably already know, um, when this shifts, oil comes up, the pump forces that oil out, and this expands. Then, when you're ready to retract, you deactivate the solenoid. This comes back. Now, uh, oil is going to flow from here. Retract this. All the oil that's in here drains back to tank. And this is a 4-2 hydraulic circuit. All right? This is the equivalent pneumatic circuit. And this is where things get a little, uh, can get a little confusing. Some people will say, Hey, that's not the equivalent. Look, this is, this is a 4-2. This is a 5-2. The 5 being, I have 5 ports. Okay? And that's true. There are 5 ports here, and some manufacturers will call this a 5-2 directional control valve. Alright? But others will call this a 4-2 directional control valve because look at the way the, the ports are identified. This is A and B. The exact is your hydraulics. Your pressure here is almost always in the middle. All right? I've never seen it not, at least. And then you have your exhaust ports here. And these exhaust ports go to the same place. And so they're just considered, so some people just consider them to be one, all right? instead of actually having two. But it's weird because you would need two mufflers for these, which this is the schematic symbol for the muffler. Sometimes these are identified as exhaust A, exhaust B, sometimes they're just known as R's, it just totally, sometimes they're given numbers, numbers are very popular in pneumatics, a little bit more so in pneumatics and hydraulics in my experience. So again, this is a 5-2 directional control valve, 4-2 directional control valve, but their functions are the same and let's prove it. So right now, if I activate my solenoid, this, my, my spool, my directional control valve shifts over. Air flows from here to here because the air is now allowed to expand because the volume is going to be able to change with my movable part. So my cylinder comes out this way, all of my air in here goes and gets returned back to atmosphere. It extends all the way. Then I deactivate my solenoid, comes over to here, up through here. Now it starts to retract back. All the air is expanding into this area. It's coming over here, the air is here, exhausting down through this exhaust port. Now if you look at the, and that's how a pneumatic system works. If you look at the cutaway diagrams of a number of 4-2 uh, directional control valves for hydraulics, oftentimes you will actually see a line mach internally machined into here to drop this out back to tank. Because what happens is, is this oil has to get back to here, and this oil has to. These are two physical locations. So sometimes internally machined, there is actually an, a little uh, path for that oil to get down to here, where it's much cheaper to have one tank line, right? But over my pneumatic system, it's easy to just exhaust these off to air with a couple of uh, mufflers, which don't cost anything. And um, this, and save money by not internally machining it. That's the schematic differences between a pneumatic directional control valve and a hydraulic directional control valve. And this would hold true if this was a 4-3 and this was a 4-3 or what some people would call a 5-3 directional control valve, which there are in pneumatics. So just be aware of this, that these are some of the differences. Now there's tons of physical differences between them too. Hydraulics are, are always more beefier, okay, because they handle such higher pressures. 
All right, pneumatics are much lighter, much cheaper. These are much more likely to be found in manifolds. I have a picture of one right here for you. Uh, in industrial systems where these are not as commonly found in manifolds, uh, your hydraulic directional control valves. And uh, there are a lot of other differences there, but there's more similarities on the schematic side uh, that you can take the information. So if you learn hydraulics first, it's easier to transfer this over to pneumatics and vice versa. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you in your fluid power life. And if you did like the video, please hit the like button. And if you do me the favor, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.